so warm outside. I'm 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 living in the north like like a Viking, but right now outside is like like I'm in the Bahamas. It's so warm, it's so nice. I hope you're having a great summer day. Anyway, hi and welcome you curious beautiful life forms. Welcome to my 20th video journey log type of thing that I like to do after every 10 videos. And the main reason is I would like to record the journey of building something and right now I'm building a YouTube channel which means I would like to say stuff that comes out of my mouth un <laughs> unedited unedited and just pure unfiltered me because uh, I do a lot of scripted videos and I just go line by line every word I pick and choose is, is chosen perfectly but right now I just want to be me and myself talk about my fears, my worries, uh, the stuff that uh, went wrong, my failures, and also think about talk about stuff that I want to improve in my videos and my future plans and where I want to take this channel from. So welcome, and I promise, even though it's a video log, uh, it's gonna have some nice juicy golden nuggets of wisdom in it. So let's get into it. And I do like structure. And that's why I made a little list to stay organized, otherwise I will ramble and that's not good for anybody. So the first order of business I wanted to say is that I finally co comfortable in front of camera, I think. I'm not maybe too overconfident? No, that's not. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm still growing there, but in my last video, uh, in my 10th video blog, I said that I feel awkward in front of the camera and a lot of people who start this channel of, of vlogging or, or doing YouTube, they feel that they don't have the voice, they're silent, they, they don't know what to say, lots of ums and ums and ohs, like I do sometimes still, but I am enjoying myself a lot more. So the key in here is just be persistent, just put out videos time and time after after again and again and the words will make start not make sense anymore but you get comfortable you get you get to have fun more so that's what I'm trying to relay here um, and also I don't have right now so much time anymore because in my life there's a new person and I am, I am truly in love with that little sweet cutie pie uh, my daughter who was born almost two months ago but because of that, uh, now my time is rather limited. But it's a good thing actually. I discovered that now all the free time has to be really efficient. I really, I can't really sit on bed and go like, mm, maybe tomorrow, you know what I mean? So you just do it and you do it as efficiently as possible. And because of that, my video quality has gone up and I've written so many more ideas. I've dug into my mind and into my attic and into my whatever the treasure treasure droves of ideas come from and I've just wrote and written so many articles down, so many questions that I want to answer myself and so I think my future videos are gonna be they're gonna be they're gonna be great. So that's point number one. Point number two that has that is really good um, as for YouTubers, everybody's talking about niche, find your niche. So in the beginning, my sentence was uh, discovering this world or exploring this world of logic and magic and whatever the heck that means. I already said in my previous videos what I, what I, previous videos where I talk about logic and magic. But right now I've, I've um, narrowed it down to three things. So education, motivation, and philosophy. Uh, motivation is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, I want to uplift people. I want to make you feel that this world, is, this life that you're given is great and you enjoy it. Uh, philosophy is me just talking about, you know, all the deep philosophical questions. And it means kind of uh, love for wisdom uh, in itself. And I love to, you know. But the first one, education, I, I'm not too sure about that because 
I don't I don't think I have authority enough to educate anyone. I mean, I have no uh, academic backgrounds. I don't have any papers to do. So so I'm thinking about changing it into information. Well, information is too vague, I think. But, but maybe and wisdom. I can't change wisdom because philosophy itself is love for wisdom. But knowledge. I'm thinking about knowledge uh, because I'm just spreading knowledge. I'm taking knowledge from out there, concentrating it, filtering through my filter system and bringing it to you as, as best as I can, as entertaining as I can. So anyway, the point is I am fi I'm so much closer narrowing down my niche than before and that's a huge progress. That's a huge progress. Um, Oh, and what I didn't do, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ken. A little applause. Your 20th video, wow, great guy. I mean, I'm good job, guy. <laughs> because I'm the type of guy who usually don't finish things. I like to start things, but I don't finish them. I pick a new idea, I run with it for a week or two, and then I get tired, and I just brush it all under the rug and tell everybody, oops, yeah. Sorry, I told you about that stuff. No, I'm not gonna be a video game developer. No, I'm not gonna be a martial artist. No, 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 no. I, I'm not gonna open up my own restaurant. It's uh, old. But this thing right now, I'm sticking with it, and I'm feeling the momentum going and going. I'm feeling this energy building up, and I feel for the first time so, so passionate about it. So, again, good job, Ken. Another ten, another twenty, another forty videos. You. And everybody should do the same. Persistence is key, right? So, next point on my little list. Um, invest in... I, oh yeah, I, I invested in my channel as well because I'm taking it seriously. So I bought... Um, uh, what did I buy? I bought TubeBuddy. Yeah, I bought TubeBuddy, a yearly subscription for 40, uh, $44. Uh, pretty great deal. Let's me... Uh, uh, up my game in uh, search engine optimization, so that's awesome. Next point. Um, here is uh, where I want to talk about... I was talking about investing into my channel and now I want to touch upon the subject of subscribers actually. I have reached 50 subscriber mark and that feels so good that I, I, I am so blessed that 50 people find found some sort of a time and energy to see my video and then press that red button. I am, thank you so much guys. I know a lot of you are my friends and family and thank you so much for the support and love. And But a small portion of it is actually people out there in the wild, wild world. And to you especially I want to give great thanks because I understand that you are greatest as well and you took this time and effort to make something of your lives. You wanted to take your future into your own hands and you wanted to go and create and find something. You wanted to step outside of your comfort zone to, to find your voice and find your style and, <clears throat> and find what makes you tick. So I'm so proud and so happy to have you share this journey with you and see your journey as well. But I, here I want to say that subscriber count <clears throat> is actually not that important. If you want to spend your focus and energy on something, spend it on, on yourself, on your growth, about making videos that make you truly happy, make you excited to get up in the morning. <clears throat> if you want to focus on something, focus on your titles, your descriptions, your tags, your thumbnails, your, your timestamps. Focus on the stuff that you can control. Don't focus on the analytics. How many people see you? How <clears throat> how much YouTube has shown your stuff uh, out there in the world? Just focus on on your stuff first, and that's the that's the that's the advice I'm gonna use as well. Because when you push out quality content and you do it persistently enough, then magic will happen. And if you get efficient enough doing that then you will have more time and even more energy and even more motivation and inspiration and all those good, wonderful, empowering words. <clears throat> and I've gotten so efficient making my videos right now that I have actually have time that I've gotten, gotten out of my way or gotten 
out of my head, so to speak. So I have taken time to take a look around what's out there in the community of YouTube because before that I was a big user, big fan of YouTube. I was watching the big channels with millions of subscribers and I, I only saw that upper echelon of YouTube. And the reality of it is so much different because 90% of YouTube is actually smaller creators. Creators under the thousand subscribers or under you know 100k subscribers. And these guys are the bare bones and, and the lifeblood of YouTube, the, the growing stars who are trying to make of something of their lives, but haven't quite reached there, but they have so much potential. And so what I've done is I've 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 gone out there, looked for the channels that are in a similar niche of mine and see what they're doing, what, what, how, they're, how are they getting started and I, I, I so enjoy actually interacting with them, leaving genuine feedback. I, I, I like to see how people just start out with their, with their dark rooms and their less than, less than medium quality camera shots and, 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 and just saying lots of ums and uhs like, like I, I I still do, <laughs> but I love to see the sparkle in their eyes and, and, and the value that they give actually, oh, I love seeing them grow and so I watch the whole of the videos so they can have 100% of retention rate from me, I like the videos and I comment them and I've met so many, so many interesting and cool people like that. I, I think I'm going to put some of them up here at the same time just to give a shout out to them, just just to so show some love and just say that I love just showing support and I think we all just come together help each other grow and help each other you know move forward this world would be it would be even even better place but that's that's what my love and focus right now also is before like I'm I'm making my videos I'm I'm scripting and stuff but I also I'm going now out there like in a facebook groups I've I've been I found myself in a lot of Facebook groups where I see a lot of people uh, actually posting like really interesting videos, uh, and nobody nobody's commenting them. So I will go and share the love because you know it's it's kind of so sad to see sometimes they're just sitting there all by themselves and put so much effort into the description and chosen these words, cute words, and and placed the thumbnail. I I see that they've uh, taken some time, and so anyway. Just support each other, guys. It's, it, it makes my heart warm to do that. Um, oh, and a final thing about if you're still feeling like you're not growing and you're not just getting there, you're just pushing out videos after videos and, and the traction isn't there, cherish this moment. Cherish this. Right now, also, I'm under 100 subscribers and I feel like I'm... I'm like Spartacus when when I was fighting in the arena for just a couple of times and I got my ass kicked. And now I have to fight in down into the into the I'm not in the dungeons or, or underground fights where everything is so dirty and dark. And this is like the the the, the grinder, you know. You 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 not grinder. I'm using all the wrong type of words, but but you're in the in the muck of it, in the thick of it, like where 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 the, where the fighting is the thickest. You know what I mean? Like like the time the struggle is so real. The, your first hundred subscribers is so hard, and then the thousand is even like. But the, but the snowball keeps it keeps going. <laughs> you see, I don't want to edit this out because I'm I'm actually enjoying. <laughs> scramble, but it, I enjoy the moment that I am in right now in this where everything's so new and and fresh and just beginning. And when I look at back at this moment, five years from now, I'm gonna be so proud of myself that I didn't lose. I didn't wish that this thing would go faster. I didn't wish that I would be somewhere where I'm not. I'm just gonna be here and now and focusing on what I can control, which is making good videos for you and educating myself doing it. Next point, let's move on. And now I just talk about, I'm gonna talk about my future for a little while. Um, I would like to up my quality a bit. I've seen, I watched my videos again, and I've seen that my lighting is not up to my standards. And, and now, yeah, I have standards now. Um, I live in the north, so the daylight uh, time is 
Hey, okay, there was another cut because my um, wife and my child just came home so I had to help them out a bit. But as a closing thought, um, I just want to take a minute and talk about my, the future of this channel and, and more specifically, specifically the quality of the channel. I've noticed that there are a few things I can improve and here's a lesson for all of you. Maybe, maybe you can pick something out that may help you. First thing is lighting. Um, where I am from in the north I, um, there's not much daylight. Um, it's very precious. So I'm thinking about buying a soft light, light box. Um, there should be around 100 to 200 uh, dollars and it should make a whole lot of difference. I don't want to buy a, like a, the, the light ring or whatever because it makes the circles in my eyes and, and I think that, that's that's really cool effect if you're doing like really close-up motivational stuff or, or if you're doing makeup tutorials when there's pretty ladies with the eye, eye rings and stuff but, but not so much for me I think I'm more of a geeky nerdy nerdy sciencey stuff so I'm thinking about maybe a big light box or, or some, some light there so this is just for me when I'm watching these videos like a uh, uh, year two years from now I want to see improvement Ken okay make it happen um, and also, uh, camera settings are very important because right now I'm on automatic and sometimes when the camera goes hocus pocus, you're out of focus. And so it switches back and forth. Um, so I should take my time and just really learn the settings and get my white balances focused and get the maybe... I don't want to make my background blurry that's another topic I want to say because I like I like my background when I have all the books and all the all the little knickknacks and my to uh, figurines that, that that's a part of me that that's what makes me me and maybe it's interesting for you to see as well maybe connect with more when you see a book that that you also like and whatever so but maybe I should add a little backlight there something something that catches your eye so just just little details to make the videos more interesting um, the microphone uh, sound quality I am quite happy with. I have the Rode Video Micro and it is a soft, soft little thing. I love it. But when I see the channels with the... because the Rode Video Micro was $50 and uh, they are using the, the $300 versions, I can hear the difference in sound. So that's another investment that I have to make along the... Um, a lot future up. Blah. Difficult words. Um, and I want to touch on my editing as well. Right now I really, that's one of my biggest passions. I love editing and putting stuff in, but I'm using lots of stock art and stock videos and, and you know, from here and there and they don't really have a consistent style. I mean, overall style is like kind of messy, but if I could do this like full time or I had more time, I would, I would maybe draw my own art and, and, and make it more consistent, make it more in the same style. And also B-roll, because right now, like I said, I'm using uh, um, stock footage uh, videos because I don't have time to take shots from here and there and do like uh, Matt Avella or whatever. They, they have fantastic lighting, fantastic uh, cinematography, uh, everything is original. And one day I would love to do also that type of quality, but I will grow there. And right now I'm enjoying where I am at, and you should too. Just be proud of what you got, but always keep growing, always keep learning. And uh, yeah, uh, final thoughts. Um, I, right now, I am, like I said, I am really efficient. I have a lot of good scripts coming, a lot of good topics, really important topics to cover and I am really having fun with them. But also I am reaching out to other uh, content creators, other channels. I am really enjoying your movies, uh, your videos, your ideas, your exploration. I love seeing you grow and take on your journey and get out of the shell and, and becoming a beautiful butterfly or whatever the success means to you. And just to build a community uh, because none of us can do it alone. We all need a lot of people behind us to find our voice and our passion and our strengths and uh, show our weaknesses and if we see our weaknesses we can overcome them so thank you for staying with me I hope you learned something and uh, good luck to you Ken for your next 10 videos and I'll see you in my 30th video vlog
I uh, hope you enjoy, have a great summer and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.